This is video 14 found on page 26. It says lesson six, ratios of fractions and their unit rates. Example one, who is faster? During their last workout, Izzy ran two and a quarter miles in 15 minutes and her friend Julia ran three and three quarter miles in 25 minutes. Each girl thought she were the faster runner. Based on their last run, which girl is correct? Well, this is relating distance, speed, and time. So I'm going to make my well-known triangle, distance equals speed times time, to help me figure this out. So which one, who ran the fastest? So we're finding their speed, which means I'm going to take the distance for Izzy, distance and divide it. Speed is equal to distance divided by time. Her distance is two and a quarter. Then I'm going to divide it by 15 minutes, her time. So two and a quarter divided by 15 is, oh, I'm going to change that to nine fourths. Divided by 15 over one, Ooh, we've got a complex fraction here, a ratio within a ratio. So 9 fourths divided by 15 over 1 would be 9 times 1 15th. We're going to multiply by the multiplicative inverse. Then I can take a factor of 3 out of that 9 and 15. And I get that Izzy is running 3 twentieths of a mile per minute is her speed. So I'm going to label that with the correct two labels. Julia, on the other hand, same process, distance divided by time. Her speed, I mean her distance, is three and three quarters miles divided by her time of 25 minutes. So three and three quarters is equal to 15 fourths divided by 25 over 1. And I'm going to multiply by the multiplicative inverse of 1 over 25. So we don't divide fractions. We multiply by the multiplicative inverse. And I can take a factor of 15, uh, 5 out of the 15 and the 25. And I get 3 and 5. And when I multiply, I get 3 three twentieths. Oh, Julia's also running at three twentieths of a mile per minute. It was not so easy to see that they are running at the same rate because they have different distances and different times. But if you put them into their unit rate, they're exactly the same. Based on their last run, which girl is correct? Neither of them. Both girls are wrong. So I'm going to sable this. Both girls are wrong. They ran at the same rate. So both girls are wrong. They were running at the exact same rate. Couldn't tell, though, with that 2 and a quarter and 15 and 3 and 3 quarters and 25 minutes. A turtle walks 7 eighths of a mile in 50 minutes. What is the unit rate expressed in miles per hour? Ooh, this is minutes, and this says miles per hour. To find the turtle's unit rate, Meredith wrote and simplified the following complex fraction. So the numerator is the fraction 7 eighths, and the denominator is the fraction 5 sixths, because to find speed, we take distance and divide it by time. 7 eighths divided by 50 minutes. Hmm. Explain how the fraction 5 6 was obtained. Well, because we want that 50 minutes as par part of an hour. Well, compare it to the whole hour, which has 60 minutes. Because remember, we want to know what is the miles per hour here. Oh, that's 5 6. So that's where that denominator of 5 6 comes from. 7 eighths divided by 5 6. 
And Meredith is doing a unique way of simplifying this. She's not doing 7 eighths times the multiplicative inverse 6 fifths. Did she get that right? I'm going to check. 7 eighths divided by 5 6 times 6 fifths multiplicative inverse. And yes, I can cross cancel a 2 out of those. Then I get 7 times 3 is 21. And 4 times 5 is 20. Yes, Meredith got that right. What did she do? Oh, she took the numerator and multiplied it by 24 and took the denominator and multiplied it by 24, the least common denominator of 8 and 6. So if this was a simple fraction like 1 half, and if you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, 24 and 24, 5 and 5 in this case over here, Take a simple fraction, one half, multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number, you get an equivalent number, right? One times five is five, two times five is ten. Yes, one half equals five tenths. So what she's doing here is not mathematically incorrect. She's multiplying by the common denominator and then canceling with the denominators of each of the fractions in the numerator and denominator. And she's canceling... Um, eights in the numerator here, and sixes in the denominator here. Oh, clever way of doing it. Did Meredith simplify the fraction uh, correctly? Yes. Yes, Meredith did. She multiplied both the... Multiplied... both the numerator and denominator by the same number, so that's not mathematically incorrect. Numerator and denominator. Check my spelling here. Denominator by the least common multiple of eight and six which was 24, so that's mathematically correct, so the fraction is equivalent. I wouldn't have thought to do it this way. I would do the keep it, change it, flip it, or multiply by the multiplicative inverse, 7 eighths times 5 6, the way that I did it here. This is how I would solve that problem. But Meredith, that's correct. You can multiply by the least common multiple. You get the same result. 21 twentieths, 21 twentieths. So Meredith is correct. Next page. Sally is making a painting for which she is mi mixing red paint and blue paint. The table below shows the different mixtures being used. Okay. What are the unit rates for the values? What are the unit rates for the values? Well, I'm going to call this the y and this the x. So y divided by x. So 2 and a half divided by 1 and a half, or better yet, 5 halves. Corrupt. The eraser. 2 and a half, 5 halves divided by 3 halves, or times 2 thirds, then I get 5 thirds, okay, which is 1.66666, 4 divided by, so 4 over 1, divided by, this is 12 fifths, so times 5 twelfths, and these cancel, and I get 5 thirds. 1.666666, or I could leave it 5 thirds. 6 and a quarter, 25 fourths. Oh, I'm running out of space here. 25 fourths divided by 3 and 3 fourths is 15 fourths. So times 4 fifteenths. So I'm going to do times 4 fifteenths. 
those nicely. Cross cancel and fives come out of here. And yep, I get five thirds, which is 1.66666. Six and two thirds, which is 20 thirds times oh, one fourth. And I get five thirds, which is 1.666666, 2 divided by 1 and 2 tenths, 2 divided by 1 and 2 tenths, yep, is 1.66666, and 3 divided by 1 and 8 tenths, 1.666, wrap it six. So what are the unit rates? They're all exactly the same. This is a proportional relationship. So what are the unit rates? Well, K equals, uh, well, we could say five-thirds, or we could say one and six-tenths repetent. Is the amount of blue paint proportional to the amount of red? Yes, because K equals, there is a constant here, five-thirds. Describe in words what the unit rate means in the context of this problem. Well, i got to talk about the two things that are varying here, the variables, which are blue paint and red paint. So one and two-thirds, which is five-thirds, which is also that 1.6666, one and two-thirds quarts of blue paint... So there's my first variable, is mixed with one quart, or for each one quart of red paint, one quart of red paint. So it's a five-thirds to one ratio. Five thirds of quarts of blue paint is mixed with one quart of red paint each time. Um, that's what it means. And that's it for today's video. Remember, you also have um, a couple pages in this packet that you also have to do. So please make sure you do those as well.